Hello friends, hope you are doing good. Few days back, I had made a video on the topic of how to select a tolerance value for given dimensions. And I had explained multiple steps in order to finalize the tolerance value for given dimensions. The first step of that process was selecting a general tolerance. And many of you asked me the question, Kevin, can you explain how to select a general tolerance for given dimensions, which was a starting point of finalizing the tolerance value. In this video, we are going to answer that question. So this was the process which I had explained. So we start with the gender tolerances as per ISO 286 standard. Then we do tolerance stack up analysis. And then we also do manufacturing process capability for critical dimensions only. We cannot do this for all because manufacturing process capability is a time consuming process. And that's why we, we have to do it only for critical dimensions. And after that study, we have to plug in this plus minus three sigma variation, which is coming into the process in the tolerance stack up sheet. And once we plug in that variation into tolerance stack up sheet, we have to see the results of stack up. That means CP, CPK values. And if we are meeting them, then we are okay. That means we can accommodate all that variation plus minus three sigma variation, which is happening into the manufacturing process into our drawings. So we can modify the drawings and we can change the tolerance two plus minus three sigma tolerance, whichever we got out of the process variation study. So this was the process which I had explained to finalize a tolerance value for given dimension. The first step of that was selecting the general tolerance. And that's where I got the question that how to select a general tolerance, where to start exactly. Suppose I have a drawing and I have dimensions on that, which we definitely get as per the CAD and once we have that drawing, how to add the tolerance values, where to start? And that's the question we are trying to answer in this video. So we have a couple of standards here. There are many more, but these are too widely used. So ISO 286-1-1998 standard, which is very widely used for general tolerances. And then we also have IS-919 standard, which is widely used in India. So it specifies 18 IT grades. So what is IT grade stands for? IT stands for International Tolerance Grades. So there are total 18 IT grades which are specified in this standard. IT1 to IT18. Now IT1 represents the finest grade, whereas IT18 represents the roughest grade. Now you can imagine IT18 could be the grade for sand casting, which is one of the roughest process. Whereas IT1 could be one of the grades for lapping process, which is one of the finest process. So every manufacturing process is attributed with the appropriate IT grade. Once we know the IT grade and once we know the basic dimension, which is nothing but CAD dimension, we can easily find out the general tolerance using ISO 286 standard. Now, as explained earlier, for every manufacturing process, we have the IT grades associated with that. Now, these are the IT grades which will fit very well with that manufacturing process. For example, lapping is the finest process where you can see IT grade is IT1 to IT4. This is the range in which we can get the tolerances for lapping process based upon the dimension value, basic dimension value. So that also is going to be one of the factors. But at least we know the IT grade range for every manufacturing process. So lapping is the finest process, IT1 to IT4. Whereas you can see sand casting is IT6 to IT18. So IT18 is the roughest grade we know. So that's why we can very well say that sand casting is one of the roughest process. Now, once I know the basic dimension and once I know the manufacturing process, that means indirectly I know the IT grade, then we can easily find out the tolerance value for that. Now we have got the IT range. So if we have got IT range, we have to start whether I should start with the finest grade or whether I should start with the roughest grade into that range. My suggestion will be always start with the roughest grade into that range. And if required, then you can fine tune it. You can reduce the tolerance value. But if roughest grade is meeting your requirement, probably you can start there and you can save some of the cost. So here is how we can select the general tolerance for dimensions and IT grades. With the general tolerances, you can finalize almost 60 to 70% of the dimensions in the drawing. Okay. 
because only 20 to 30 percent dimensions will be part of stack up analysis which will be critical dimensions and tolerances but most of the other dimensions you can finalize with the help of gender tolerances so this is a chart which is given in iso 286 standard so we have to follow certain steps the first step is define size dimension which we can get with the cad model then in step 2 we have to define a manufacturing process i am going to assume that i am going to manufacture this with the injection molding and once i know the manufacturing process i need to go to this chart and find out what is the it grade associated with that so for injection molding it 12 to it 14 so i am going to start with the it 14 which is the roughest grade into that range and if required by stack up then only i will refine it so it 14 is the it grade for this particular part for this dimension here which is achieved with the help of injection molding if this was achieved by any other process then you have to select the it grade associated with that now somebody might ask that suppose there are multiple operations here for example we started with lathe machine and then we did grinding so which one i should take so you have to take the final process right so final process with which you are going to achieve this dimension that's what you have to take for selection of it grade so now we got the it grade which was it 14 and then i got the basic size which is 35 with the help of that i can find the tolerance value so in this chart left side you can see the range of basic sizes which are nothing but cad sizes and then we have it 1 to it 18 grades so as you observe here as you move from it 1 to it 18 the tolerance value increases left side tolerance values are small that's why they are given in micrometers whereas right side are bigger and that's why they are given in millimeters these charts are also available in microns also it doesn't matter it is one and the same thing now the first thing we have to do is we have to find out the range in which this basic size falls so 35 falls in 30 to 50 range okay and then i know the it grade so it grade is it 14 which is this one so if i go here the tolerance value is going to be 0 0.62 so 0 0.62 means plus or minus 0 0.31 that's what you have to remember tolerance is total tolerance but when you convert that into plus minus it will be divided by 2 so that's how you have to select a general tolerance now let's assume that this part is made with the grinding okay not injection molding so let's go here and find out where is grinding so grinding is here it 4 to it 8 so i'm going to start with the it 8 so it 8 is somewhere here and i got the range here so i got 39 microns so that is the tolerance which i got this is how you have to select tolerance value for any given dimension with the help of basic size as well as manufacturing process and connecting the particular it grade with that manufacturing process now hopefully you have got a good idea of how to select a general tolerance now once we create a preliminary drawing with all these uh, general tolerances then we have to take this drawing for the stack up analysis and there will be certain dimensions and tolerances which will be playing role into stack up analysis and as per the need into stack up analysis we are going to refine those tolerances now general tolerances doesn't mean that you cannot manufacture part with lesser tolerances obviously you can manufacture it but it might cost you more even you can go for higher tolerances than this if your function permits to do that if you like this video and if you are more and more knowledge like this do not forget to subscribe as well as pressing the thumb icon and let me know in the comment box if you like this video